if you could change anything in the community or in the world, right, what would it be? They go to a bar and they're drinking and then they go out and they just start driving drunk. I think that in a bar they should have a cop to be watching them because we get so many people that die because of drunk driving. We need to stop a lot of things. We need to stop animal cruelty, um, um, abuse, you know, like physical abuse, bullying. There's lots of bullying, lots of drug abuse. I probably go home <laughs> what somebody did, you know, yesterday, two days ago, other day, just old and old and just dying, dying, old, young. And it's all because of drugs. Drugs and beef. Basically drugs. Overdose. That's what started beef. That's what makes beef. The drugs. You go crazy. Beef is senseless. Like, it's like a person for nothing. That's why we're here together right now. You know what I'm saying? To squash all that beef. Beef ain't nothing. It's better to eat beef, not beef. <laughs> the environment I stay in, it's just crazy. Like, homeless people sleep. A block away from me, there's over, I say over a hundred, you know, over a hundred that I see every day. That I walk out, they sleeping now. Um, it just need to change. See people, like homeless people, when I'm walking or anything like that, I want to help. The system is getting full because there's a lot of kids going in the system. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, they need more people to like open up foster homes for like kids and for like the younger adults and stuff like that. That'll be a help. I want. I would like to add on what she was talking about because I would like to help the young men out here who have no father. God violence is pretty much younger kids looking up to old people and like how they sell drugs in front of the kids. They pull out their guns in front of the kids, not knowing them. as the kids get older, that's what they want to be. They follow in their footsteps instead of doing a good example for them, sending them to school, telling them not to be like them. Go down a different road. Like you got something for your future. Don't try to be like us, but we don't. We have a future, but they prefer to do what they wanted to do and what they grew up around. But at the end of the day, we using we losing young kids, people shooting, and they ain't even hitting their target. So you guys did a good job at outlining the challenges of Miami. So. How would you go about getting the power to address those challenges? There's no point in saying, oh, listen, I'm, I'm here for getting rid of this, getting rid of guns, making the world a better place, if you can't make yourself better, to make everybody else better. Yourself, you don't start with yourself. We all have power, right? It may not be, it may not look like, like she said, what it looks like on that TV, but we all have power, autonomy, to make a change. It's suggesting that they start selling drugs and going and stuff. Oh, so make any suggestions, your own recommendation? Yes. Okay, I like that. I like that one. Look behind you, grab that blue book. <laughs> um, when I said accountability, I mean as far as I'm like holding people accountable of what they do. As far as then like, say if I was to go out and commit a crime and a, and a person from a different race commit a crime, give us the same amount of time so it won't be such so much as a race thing where everybody feel like, oh, this person is this color so they get less time, they're more lenient with this person. Just hold everyone accountable for the crime that they've committed. For me, the only thing that really says is to unite other people to actually start making the changes all together because if it always gotta be in power and numbers because it's always powers in number. People working together within themselves. People stepping up and helping others so they looking down on others. We, we got the power. We got the power. We, we, we got the power. Got the power. I'm gonna let Sister Down close this thing out. I wanna let y'all know that you don't just have the solutions, you are the solution. And you know, there's it's scientific fact that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one source to the other. There's a lot of good energy in this room today that you can take back to your communities and transfer and make this change together.